Hey YouTube family, as you can see I got some little dealies going on here. As you can see, these are flexi rods, they're the thin kind. I don't have that many in because I've seen a lot of videos where they're just like tons of the flexi rods. That's because I took each, you know, I, I did big sections, but each rod has two two hairs. It's like I put it in the V and wrapped it around so that there's like two curls on each flexi rod. And that definitely knocks down on how many rods you have to use. And then, you know, it makes it easier to put my caps on. Also, I think when you use just one, you see right here, there's one flexi rod, but it's got two curls. It allows you to tighten it to a way where they just kind of stay. Now, I do have to kind of loosen them and adjust because some areas will pull a little bit more. This is overall way more comfortable than sleeping with all the curlers and stuff. So I've had this on for about 12 hours, maybe 13 hours. I did this before I went to bed last night. And I want to try and get this to dry before I have a pinup event tonight. So I have this. This is a hood bonnet kind of thingy. I don't know. I'm hoping that this works. You know, with my hair being longer, it's natural hair, it's not relaxed. I've been wanting to wear it a little bit more straight or I've been practicing wearing it a little straighter because it's cold, the winter season, it makes it easier to wear your hair straighter. But I realize as it's getting warmer, I don't really want to straighten my hair so much. And as soon as I sweat just a little bit, my hair just starts reverting right back. And it just, I pretty much get one hairstyle out of it. And the rest of the week is just a kind of a bun, you know, because it gets hard to comb through the thick part of my hair. So I've been trying out these flexi rods and so far I found that I like it a lot better than flat ironing my hair. Of course, I love the straight, the sleekness, but this, this works as a curly style. This actually does really tight curls on my hair. I would like them to be a little bit more relaxed, but that's going to take a little bit of playing, playing with this more. But right now, I'm trying to learn how to cut down on the length of time that I spend drying my hair in this style. Because it normally takes about two to three days for my hair to dry completely. You know, the style will last a few days, up to a week, just kind of depending on how, how well I take care of it. I don't really take care of my hair that well. I'll forget and just kind of leave it or whatever and then start pinning it in different places. But I'm learning. I'm getting a little bit better. See, I have this right here. This is kind of, I don't know what this is. It's not silk, but it's chiffon-like. And I've been using that to kind of lay down my hair in the front and back so I don't have, you know, things like that. And I'm going to take this bonnet, put it on, and I think I might put the bonnet on top of my hair I'm not sure just kind of depending on how it sits I just feel like that the plastic will rub against these and loosen the ends which I'm kind of surprised on how well the ends stay wrapped around these flexi rods of course when I was done I took a little bit of the the lot of body product the setting lotion or whatever and I did kind of make sure that the ends were saturated and twisted on there really good. But for the most part, I'm not really good at this. As you can see, my hair overlaps on itself. You know, a lot of people have the curls going down. My hair, I don't even know if I have the braids going in the right, the curls, the curls going in the right direction. But like I said, this is a learning process. And I'm finding that this lot of body I use a lot of body. I think it has coconut oil or something in it. It seems to hold really well. So as we creep into these warmer seasons, I wanna see how that holds up with sweating. Of course, that means more up styles, but I mean, 
At some point, I'll, you know, I guess I'll have to leave the sleeker styles to the cooler days or something like that. I'm not sure, but in the Midwest, it's definitely 100 degree weather once we start hitting the summer. So I'm just glad I can figure this out. So let's just, I'm just sitting here rambling. Let's actually look at this. I can get it out the box. So it's called the Con Air Pro Soft Bonnet Attachment. That's how it looks. And super compact. I wanted to get one of those sitting down deals that you can't, you know, desktop sitting down deals, but I realized, wow, I'm not gonna be able to store that in my house. And as soon as my boys get a hold of it, they are going to tear it apart. So Something that I can pack away would definitely be a lot better. Of course, I gotta smell everything. Just wanted to know if it was gonna stink sitting on top of my head. So this is, this is it. Then, looks like the top the sides where most of the air will come from. The top just looks like one layer and the sides look like two. And then this part right here goes on the blower. I hope that it's my blower. Keep reading everything that says use it on low right here. Hair dryer must be set on low for use with this bonnet. Never switch to high settings. So yeah, you hear that right there. I read that somewhere that they have ones that kind of have a thing, strap. We'll see, Let's see if this will fit. I don't know, maybe I won't, maybe I won't need a, uh, Luke, I am your father. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I won't need a uh, net. We'll see. Find my blow dryer. My hair dryer here. Oh, you see this? You see this little setup? You know how you see people that have these comb attachments and they seem to be able to go through their hair? Well, no, no, not my hair. My hair will not only rip this off, but it will break these teeth off here. So to make, see, there's a tooth right there. It's gone. So to make this strong enough to go through my hair, I literally had to anchor it on there so that I can get through my hair. Sometimes I think my hair is thin, but it, like apparently, according to all these products and the combs, my hair is pretty strong. So, uh, get that off of there. I'm going to take the, uh, this doohickey. I wonder if I'll have to put a band around it so it stays, because... I don't know what's gonna make the grip stay. Well, I guess I'm not going anywhere far, so. Put that on like that. Plug it in. That might help. I think you're supposed to put this on first. Does it really come with directions? I don't see any. I mean, but I'd imagine it's self-explanatory except for the warning and I heard this can kind of fly off of you so I'm going to hold on to it put it on low heat it says I got it on cool heat right now. Try it on low. Now I feel some of the heat coming through. 
You know what? I already like this. I already like this. Okay. Maybe it might be because I have the flexi rods on and they hold, you know, they're making my head bigger, but it, maybe it's because I have a big head, <laughs> but it seems to be staying on pretty good. Yeah, I think, think we're going to keep this. I'm actually going to keep it on for a few minutes, maybe, maybe like 10 to see if it gets too hot for me to handle. Technology. Used to have to go to the salon and sit under those hair dryers forever, but I found this and it's going to cut down my hair drying time from three days to be nice ten minutes. So there we go folks, I tried it out for 10 minutes, and this is just, just it's, I don't expect it to be dry, I mean it could be mostly dry at this point, I have been letting it air dry, that was pretty concentrated air, not concentrated as in it was too much, but I feel like the old school hair dryers a bulk of the heat came from right right here there were holes right there so it didn't feel like it dispersed the heat throughout your hair evenly this it looks this it looks like it has holes evenly at the top part of the cap in the seams and that feels like it let the the air evenly go everywhere and like I felt even heat all through my hair. So I feel that would help you dry your hair quicker. But because it's warm and it's only been 10 minutes, I can't exactly tr tell if it's all the way dry. But it, like I said, that could be a combination of me letting it air dry too. Also, I kept feeling like it was going to burn me, but only because it was new. This part right here, because it was resting on the back of my neck, but when I actually let it sit there, it wasn't that hot. It was actually, I could feel myself falling asleep after a minute. It was almost like a warm massage. I would say that low heat and how this concentrates the hair, the heat, the air evenly, is perfect for drying your hair. I might do it for another 10 or 15 minutes, like I said. I don't think my hair was super wet. I did let it dry for about 12 hours. It takes about two days. So if I let this dry naturally, I did it last night around midnight, I would probably be able to wear the style tomorrow pretty pretty confidently maybe usually it's like tomorrow morning in the afternoon so that's like a day and a half so it takes like a good day and a half for my hair to dry I also think some of the products that I put in my hair helps to dry better like the Lada body I think that dries down quicker I actually put a heat protectant on my hair with this I, it's like a black spray bottle actually it's this one right here this is the heat protectant I use so I just kind of sprayed it on my hair let it dry a little bit you know then put this on but I think this this is gonna going to be neat the last time I did this I just let it air dry so I want to know if there's a difference between air drying and using heat to dry those curls stayed for a really long time. I wonder if with doing the heat, with the heat protector that helps your hair stay a little bit straighter, if that will help lock this in too. It's going to be 80 degrees today and tomorrow before we go right back to winter again or 
rain, I don't know, in the Midwest, it's like that. So I'm going to be able to test this out to see if this holds up to heat. I definitely don't want to start doing this to my hair for a competition and realize, oh no, that actually made it worse. I did realize that one of these products, I'm not sure which one it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's this. I think it's the serum, the heat protectant serum that's more like an oil. I feel like that helps my hair poof out more when I when it starts to sweat. And also when I use the, the serum, it doesn't feel like my hair holds the curl. So this is not like a serum, it's more like a water. I think that makes it hold better when I sweat and it makes the curl not textured. The curl seems to be more slick with this. So I'm helping, hoping with this along with the um, lot of body and there's a conditioner I use. These are the three products that I use. This is, what is this? Mega Growth Leave-In Strengthener. And I like the stuff that says that you don't have to wash it out. Not only does this say that you don't have to wash it out, it says excellent before blow drying. And I kind of struggle with that because before, you know, you weren't really supposed to leave a leave-in conditioner if you're going to blow dry your hair. I'm thinking because like the heat serum, it'll cause it to kind of draw water towards it and, you know, it won't stay. But this actually says... This is great for leaving in, do not wash out, damaged hair, excellent for blow drying. And this is the same way. It holds body, and I'm pretty sure it's got coconut on it, of course. And I'm pretty sure I read on here that this was good quick drying. Apply to damp hair, comb through, blow style or set in rollers. So both of these are good for blow drying hair and it's, it's more of a liquid and I find that the, this especially is like kind of tacky. I feel like that might be the best formulation for getting hair that's as textured as mine to, to go straight and stay straight even when you start to sweat in your hair. So that's pretty much everything that I have for this review for this Con Air. I definitely feel like this is a good investment. I can see myself trying out, what do you call that? The wrap, more curlers, different ways of doing this. Uh, if it breaks, I will be buying it again. And I'm happy that I bought this. This will make this getting cut the, the getting ready process for my pinup events down by like more than half like right here i'm already 10 minutes 10 to maybe 30 minutes to get my hair dry i'm already knocking 36 hours off of just doing my hair alone not to mention who wants to leave the house with this on their head i mean it's cute i'm cute see this but nobody this isn't, you know, I always see people who are important when I'm dressed like this, not when I'm really trying. So I hope you all enjoyed my review. I'm kind of new to this. Like I said, I have a few videos, but now that I'm getting better with my hair, I feel like I can start, you know, experimenting more and telling you all what I like and what might work on your hair. If you have super thick super coarse long hair i mean yes the hair that sometimes you just want to zzz, but thank you for tuning in let me know what you might want to try out or what you have that cuts down drying time all that kind of stuff without using heat talk to you later everybody bye